What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to another episode of Life and Gem with CG. And I hope that you guys subscribe, like, turn on those comments, leave us comments, let us know what you want to see, what you want us to talk about. So as promised, we told you that we're going to be recapping every episode of Basketball Wives. And last night was episode five. And it was just like a crazy day because my true scam story also premiered on BH1. So we didn't get to see all of Basketball Wives, but we can talk about what we saw, the important parts of Basketball Wives. And um, yeah, so I, I hope you guys tuned in to my true scam story. There is going to be a part two next Monday at 8 p.m. before Basketball Wives. So make sure you tune in to that as well. But yeah, you want to jump into the episode? I know you were yeah. in this episode a lot. Yeah, before we recap the episode five of this this new season, um, yesterday, of course, you guys pretty much, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys tuned in at eight o'clock to my true scam story. And uh, it was a beautiful premiere party. Um, you know, Jen's closest friends came out it was amazing. Uh, the vibe was dope. They were able to actually see it in real time, just like you guys. And uh, I'm just uh, super proud of Jim for uh, stepping out and having the courage to speak out on this this a monster, really, um, and and really advocating to get him off the street because it's not just Jennifer; it's multiple victims, and we're talking about victims that didn't even get a chance to tell their story on the show so i feel like this is going to be more ongoing um because we're talking i think we talked last night over dinner they said maybe like 100 people yeah so <laughs> it was yeah. a lot like when i went viral with the story it was during the pandemic obviously we didn't know each other yet but it was so crazy because everybody was home and you were either watching tv or on social media so it became just so crazy because the amount of people that reached out to me it's not even a tenth of the people that reached out to me that are on the documentary because you have to understand talking about something like this it does take a lot of courage and you have to be brave to come forward and tell your story and i just think i'm not even going to say in the black community just in general it's like we don't talk about scamming enough but it happens every day like people are out here scamming every day and love scams it's it's really big so people choose to take their L in private, but I always say the more you do that, the more power you give to the scammer because now people don't know and they're able to go and do it to somebody else. So it's like, yes, I understand we all have pride, but we also have a commitment to our community where we need to try and help other people. So that was really my whole reason in well, doing this stop. documentary because I just wanted to, I just wanted to help people. And when I found out how many people it was, and it, it I still keep finding out stories. So I don't know, it, it might be a part two and three and four, because it's like this man is straight trash. And in part two, you will see some of the men that he scams along with his own family, his dad is on there. So this has been a passion project of mine and it's finally come to light and i'm really What's this, i'm like grateful that's like four years in the making right three years well pandemic. Yeah. yeah like a little over three years so i'm just grateful to have the platform and to be able to hopefully have an impact and to hopefully help more than one person and it's just this man, like you said, he, he's just, he's a horrible person. And so I just, I pray that nobody else has to be affected by his awful behavior. It's, this man has been doing this for, for over two decades. So it's just, it's really awful. But yeah, so that premiered before Basketball Wives and we did see some of the episode, but not all of the episode, but I think we, we caught them. I think the the most important stuff. Yeah, we 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 call we call the, the important the vital parts. the vital stuff of it because of course we had to do a live of it for for Jennifer's documentary. So uh, we're gonna get into that uh, and recap what we took from it um, and what we. 
And yeah, before I, we before we start, I just want to say, babe, thank you for being so supportive. Yeah. Throughout my journey with this documentary, he has just been there for me every step of the way from when we first met. Obviously, I told him about what I was working on and it was like, OK, I finally I got it completed. Then it was like, OK, I don't know the air date. So I'm just so happy that you were obviously like with me and you've been so supportive throughout the journey. And, you know, because this just talking about this can be just very heavy and exhausting and mentally draining. So I just appreciate you being supportive throughout this journey with me. Always, always. I and I, like I said, I I wasn't around when it when it when you guys were doing this. It was in the works, but I feel like it's gonna be a, a series. You know what I mean? Because it's still more people that have to tell their story. And even above that, I'm always gonna be here to support my partner. And whatever she's doing, if she's doing it and she's passionate about it, then I'm right there to support from every aspect. So, yeah, you don't have to thank me for that. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm supposed to do. Wow. Take notes, gentlemen. <laughs> I, I just wanted to give you your flowers because you deserve them. So, but yeah, Basketball Wives was, um, it was eventful. <laughs> I mean... Never, never a dull moment. I'm trying to think what was the first uh, scene that I saw. Well, obviously, we talked about <laughs> another scam story, us getting scammed for the dog. Yeah. And so just to give you guys some background information, I obviously had Gia for 17 years. I really wasn't open and thrilled about getting another dog because I still was very much I was still like grieving Gia like Gia was 17 years is a long time and yeah. she had been through ups and downs with me just really like the perfect dog and so when I thought about getting another dog I was just like no 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 like I just I wasn't ready. I was like, my luck, I'm gonna get it Sarah. I'm not trying to replace Gia. But we have more conversations about it. And I think the day that we actually got scammed, I was like, okay, you know what? If I if I get this dog, I need to get it like right now. You know how like you're like, okay, I'm just gonna make this impulse decision. And I think that it was like I went online, I found a website, started talking to the people over email. Um because you were talking to somebody at the same time about getting a schnauzer. Remember? Yeah, they were legit though. I know, I know. Yeah. But I'm like, I gotta be legit. <laughs> I gotta beat him to the punch because I was yeah. like, I don't want a schnauzer. So I'm like, okay. So basically I found this website and um you know what? We're gonna drop the website because I wanna make sure that nobody else gets scammed. It's still because up. Because the the yeah. website is still up. The dog is probably still up with the same age. Now, meanwhile, this happened in what, April? I think it was yeah. like April. Yeah, yeah, it was April. Yeah, I think this happened yeah. in April. So basically, you know, in the moment, I was like, okay, I'm excited about getting this dog. Let's just do it. And I started talking to these people over email. I never spoke to anybody. They gave um, the Zell information and basically, they corresponded a little bit after the Zell and then they went ghost. They went and ghost. so the crazy thing is that, you know, it's just, this girl Vanessa is just like, really has nothing better to do. But for her to try and insinuate that Christian made up a website to scam me for the dog, it's like, first of all, he would be scamming himself because Christian paid the money for the dog. So it's like, okay, you're gonna make up this whole website to scam yourself of, I think it was like $700? 750. So that, even, when I, even when I sent the money, I looked at Jen. You did. And I said, they got us. Whoever it is behind this site, they got us. We're got. And you know, of course, Jen was just, at that point, she's just trying to be optimistic. She's like, babe, well, let's just wait. We might get another email. Um, but later down the line, we found out that typically 
um, number one, you don't have to put a deposit down when you're dealing with a breeder. And number two, um, you know, there, there should be conversation over, over the phone. There should be a way to FaceTime with the, if you're in a different state. And I think they were out of Kansas City. But uh, I ended up doing my due diligence and I reached out to one of, one of my tech guys and I, he tapped the IP address to Reno, Nevada. So this, this person is literally running a site saying that the puppies are in Kansas City. And for this breed that we have, because of course we do have the same breed, Rover's the same breed, they're not $750. Like, I don't, I, no one in their right mind is gonna sell that puppy for $750. But of course we're excited. And I was excited too, because you know, we're, we're this is like starting our little family. So I, I, of course I, you know, paid for it and you know, we got got. And I'm sure a lot of us have gotten got before, right? But I felt that gut feeling as soon as the money was sent. But you did. You said yeah. that. I remember we were like getting in the car and you were like, babe, we got got. And I was like, what? Like, no. Because me, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be positive. But yeah, you, your, your spidey senses definitely picked up on that. So that's the backstory behind us getting scammed for the dog. I mean, it's just like ridiculous. Like who who the hell has time to make up a whole website if you're not a scammer with fake pictures of dogs? I mean, there's like probably like 50 dogs on this website, if yeah. not more. It's like, what the, like this man has a whole business he runs. Um, he's not sitting around trying to make up fake websites. He doesn't have that much time on his hands. But unlike some other people on the show, they actually have a lot of time on their hands because they want to go do digging and try and have a whole file on you. Yeah. And my, I mean, I think I, I spoke a little bit. I just going to be... That's broke bitch behavior. It's, 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 it's to a point now where it's, it's like... It's like you... You hear it, you receive it, and then you kind of just, it's like, you just have to, like, she is miserable. And I, like, had, I've had, like, it's like, when you think about this person, it's like, you, you, you started with Evelyn, you start fishing around with whatever Evelyn had going on, which you had nothing to do with. And then you're moving on to the next. Don't tell them who your next victim is, right? This, and I feel sorry for that person, whomever it may be, but... Honestly, it is broke behavior because honestly, me and Jen, we wake up and we do whatever the fuck we want to do. And my day is done by 11 a.m., right? Um, the bag is already secured by 11 a.m. every single morning. So um, making fake websites for $750, listen, it's, 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 it's just crazy to me, right? But we can move forward. I mean, that that's the story on the dog. Of course, you guys know we have Rover today. Um, and, <laughs> Rover's the dog that's meant for this household. That's Absolutely. how I feel. Rover's the dog that's meant. That I'm pretty sure there's other victims that got scammed on that website too. The website is still up to this day with the same puppies, the same names, the same age. So yeah, it's just it's, yeah. it's horrible. But um, so what else happened? I guess they had a uh, yeah cooking class and oh wait. I guess they try to make some. But yeah, they that's tried when the to foul was brought up at right. They were so Jackie and Vanessa were, I guess, cooking for their husbands and having like a, a a dinner date, and neither one of them know how to fucking cook. So the goddamn potatoes weren't even. I don't even know. I think like, it was de decor, like uh, I think the potatoes supposed to be decor that goes around the chicken. I think that was was that a chicken or a hen? Or? I don't know what the hell it was. Whatever it was, this shit looked nasty. Like, bitch, you should investigate how to make some goddamn rice because you couldn't even do that. So there's a whole bunch of other things that you could investigate besides my man, my man, my man, okay? Like, you just, that's when it started, right? It started with her trying to calculate, you know, your kid's age. And then it was like, oh, well, you know, I did some digging and, you know, he has a, a 13 year old son and he went to prison for 10 years. It's like, girl, okay, this is not CNN breaking news. You know what I mean? Like, 
everyone knows about this. Everyone that I meet and speak to and I'm, I encounter, I tell my story. And I, and I talked about this. Here's the thing. First off, we already know that I did time in prison. Everyone knows that. Honestly, it's a badge of honor for me because it got me to where I am today, all right? Did I do 10 years? No. She came with the fact that I did 10 years, right? So that means if I went into prison in 2015, which is the year that I got convicted, that means I would be coming home in two years. That's it, if I did 10 years, right? I went in at 22 and I'm 30 years old today, okay? Fact number one, which is completely false. The second thing, right? If I told her that I had no kids, I, would, I wouldn't be wrong for that because I don't owe her the truth, right? The biggest thing for me is to keep my kids off of social media and to keep them off from away from the media because people are cruel and they're crazy. So honestly, I wasn't gonna bring up any one of my children simply because people have ulterior motives, they're crazy, they prey on your downfall. They're already preying on my downfall, so I don't need them infiltrating and praying, or praying on my children's downfall, right? So yes. I did state that I had two younger kids, right? And then of course the, you know, you guys will keep watching the show and honestly, you'll see how everything pans out, but um, I'm not here to like, come on, we're, we're, we're already engaged. Like we're already past the, 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 the patty cake stage as, as you call it, right? Like we're past all the games, like, that we never, there was never a game in this relationship anyway. I came to her, the, our first date, I told Jennifer that I went to prison. I told her that I had children. I told her that all my mistakes that I've made up until, you know, at that point, right? So all of the, the foul that you're digging up, Vanessa, number one is public record. Okay, so anyone can look it up, right? Yes, I did change my last name for generational purposes, right? Because I wanted to break the curse and I wanted to be, <clears throat> that pillar for my children, right? And I wanted to create my own lane, which I already had a conversation with my father for, uh, about, hey, I'm changing my last name to Gold. I'm keeping my first name because I love my first name. My name is Christian. Yes, my last name is Gold. Cool. People change their names all the time. Doesn't mean I'm running from anything. Yes, I'm still on parole. I'm in papers, whatever you want to call it, probation until 2025. I don't have anything to hide. It is what it is, right? So. I think a lot of people tell, they're, they're telling Jennifer to run, run. He's a convict. He's an ex-convict. But you got to look at who you're next to. Are they telling the truth too, right? And this is really pointed at Vanessa because I don't think you understand who you're next to. I think that's the digging that she should be doing, right? More so in her household. Yeah, she needs to worry about herself. And here's the thing, like Vanessa... You are over there pointing fingers when you yourself have been arrested multiple times and you've been arrested for for things and and you have been in jail. So it's like, um, girl, you you acting like, you know, you you a step for a wife or something <laughs> like get out of here. And my thing is, here's the thing. Even if Christian was the worst person in the world, it's none of your business. That is the point that we are missing. It's not your business. One, bitch, I don't even know you. Like, you're not my friend. Yeah, she she raised, <laughs> she said she was concerned about... You're not concerned. Yeah. You are just a nosy, broke bitch. Like, that is broke bitch behavior. Who the fuck has time to do that? Like, bitch, go get a job with the FBI if you got all that time on your hands to be doing it. I mean, you can't because you're... A come big too, I think, right? So it's like, you hypocritical shit and behavior is just crazy to me, right? So um, enough of that, enough of that. We, you know, I this is going to be ongoing. This is something that yeah. she's dealing with because we're not dealing with it, right? I mean, it's that, that's in the past, right? Of course it comes up because, like I said, people have nothing better else to do. Um, and I, I, I said I mean, it the other day, we're focused on building assets and not... Um, yeah, Talking absolutely. And honestly, if she that's what she needs to be investigating. Like, girl, you need to investigate how to to build your your assets because you have zero. Really, Vanessa, you can just call me. We can really make it. We can we can make friends. I can manage your portfolio and I'll grow it for you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really She has no I don't, portfolio. I don't, I don't dislike you. 
I really don't dislike this person. But she has she she has nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the girl, she lives in a rented house with her husband in Arizona, and I guess he sniffed all their their money away. I have no idea. Listen, it's not my problem. I don't care. Sniffing all my I just caught that. That's crazy. I mean, it's it's public record. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not these are the facts. You know what I'm saying? We're over here living life. We are not worried about the next person. And you know, it's something that stuck with me that we went to go see uh Jada recently. Her book came out. And she was talking about social media. You know, social media, they've been dragging her. And she just has said, you know what? I don't read the comments because guess what? These people don't know me. They don't know my real life. And that just really stuck with me because I get it. You know, like sometimes I get caught up in the, okay, I'm a, for the most part, I really don't even pay attention. I will comment here and there just because I do feel like you have to be a little engaging. But you know, it's people say all kinds of shit because they hide behind a keyboard. That's and it. you never meet a hater in real life. They're never going to come up to you and say the things that they say to you on that goddamn social media. So it was just interesting because I was like, you know what? She she actually is really right. Like these people that are commenting on your life, they have no idea who you really are or, or what you have really gone through. They just have this perception in their mind that, oh, they know you. They know the facts about this. And it's just it's so ridiculous. So. The situation with Vanessa, it will continue to play out. And, you know, you guys will have to stay tuned for that. The next episode. I think it's we, your trip. Yes, we go to, um, to Arizona. But I don't know. I just feel like the new girls, they just came in with such a vengeance. And it's like, uh, we're not even on that type of time. Like, you, you guys are going about this all wrong because we nobody's trying to fight with these girls it was like from day one vanessa came with the bullshit with evelyn um colonic she started with her it's like why you know what i mean like everybody is we're like happy living life you know brooke is going through what she's going through it's like why do you keep trying to come for us yeah nobody sent for you at all yeah, and it's 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 something to you know. I, I, we both were prepared for this. You feel me? We both were prepared for this. We both were prepared for attacks, because people want what they can't have. Yeah, and misery That's loves company. That's a fact. Misery I, definitely loves company. There, it's it's a it's a it's a form of. Once you go that deep into a person's love life or, or their partner, or even if it was uh, this energy directly pointed at Jen, like going into her, whatever, her closet of skeleton, whatever you want, like it's, you gotta be invested and obsessed. That is a, that is a sickness. It is an obsession because obsession is a sickness. It is. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like, girl. It's, it's crazy. So close the curtains on the bullshit. Like, we're we're over it and it's just crazy because i'm like i don't know if i had that much free time i definitely would not be doing that i just i don't understand the purpose of literally like sitting on my phone and trying to look up information on anybody's man that's that's not a benefit to me well, she shops in her free time. So <laughs> literally in her free time, like even when she shops. So she does positive things. And uh, yeah, I do things know. that that make me happy. I, I like online shopping. So life is already crazy. So when you have the downtime fishing through comments and investigating whatever you want, it's just crazy. Like focus on building, growing, evolving doing some uh, self-care, loving on yourself, whether it's shopping, do something that's going to better yourself. Because honestly, if it, this is what it, what it comes to be. It comes to be as now you look stupid. 
because everything that you fish for, my fiance knew about long before you bought it to yeah and the narrative uh, the of like world, oh right? i'm i'm doing it out of concern and care like girl i don't know you and you're not doing it out of concern and care because here's the thing like you know how to access me right but you chose to do this shit on tv with these cameras rolling right so it's like cut the bullshit like yeah. you know what i'm saying i wasn't i wasn't born yesterday and i wasn't born at night so let like let's let's cut it um, I have to say that I love Giselle yeah. because she's such yeah. a breath of fresh air. Like she's a good addition as far as like the newbies, like these other new girls, I don't know what type of time they on, but she is who she is. And I love that she owns who she is. She knows she country. She got her little accent, but she it. speaks nothing but truth and facts and she's going to tell you how she feels whether she, you like it or not like she's going to state her opinion and i love that i love that about her and i i love i to, saw that i saw that her and britney had some ten, well i think britney had the tension giselle giselle never had the tension i don't know if you remember that part at, yes. the, at the cooking thing and i think britney felt the way that brooke and jocelyn were Kicking what she said and laughing together. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and, I, I, yeah. yeah, it's like a cooking class. Like you go, you're not it's supposed to be mute. Like you're there, you're having a good time with your friends, whatever, whatever. Like, hello. And then I feel like something happened. I think Brooke blessed the food and then. She didn't want to eat the food. Brittany didn't want to eat the food. Yeah, because like the, it was the bad two enough. bad yeah. apples, Brittany and Claire. It's like, girl, it's a. It's a prayer. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let the shit go. Uh, we prayed over food. Like, let's, at some point, you, the petty shit is just, it's like, why? Yeah. But again, you got her and you got Kalonix. So, I mean, I'm just happy I wasn't at that cooking class. But I told Jackie, I said, listen. The first thing you asked, which they knew you were going to ask, is, well, who's going to be there? <laughs> right. And once she said uh, the person's name... I, I, I was very clear that I do not want to be around that girl because I, I really am protective of my energy. And like I said, last recap, the girl just had erratic behavior and bad energy before I even sat down. And when I sat down, it was just like... It, it was way worse than what they even showed on TV. So it was, it was completely ridiculous. But um, yeah, Arizona is coming up and we're only on, we're only like at the halfway mark. And I feel Next like- it's halfway, literally. So much has happened. It's, it gets even more crazier, I want to say. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think those were the important points that I wanted to talk about that I saw. Like I said, I didn't see some of the beginning of the episode because, again, you know, I was doing my premiere party and my true scam stories. So it's just kind of been like a whole whirlwind. But I know pretty much what happened and, and those were the points that I wanted to talk on. But I really wanted to make sure that you were able to voice your opinion and speak about what was shown on the show because it had a lot to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. But you know what? You should take that as a compliment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like, clearly I have to be doing something so right that you and your free time want to go and spend it on me? Like, that speaks volumes. Yeah. <laughs> My my and, and I'll be transparent about it. My biggest thing is I, I've I've had I've had darts thrown at me. I'm I think I spoke on this. I am the black sheep of my family. Like I didn't I never conformed to society. I always took my own route. Yeah, I went to college. I did all the, the things that society says you should do, but I um my 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 thing is you can throw the darts at me, but just don't don't and when when it starts to get into your children and stuff like that, Lee, like keep my kids out your mouth. Period. Simple. You could talk. You could talk. You could 
call me any name in the book. For create false narratives. Listen, keep my kids' names out your mouth. Keep them out your keep keep the fact that I even listen, keep them out your mouth. I don't want to hear about it. And um yeah. I, and I, at the at the it, it gets to a point where you just like I don't have I'm not gonna do anything to you I just like you know the universe I let God deal with you because at this point you just need some type of prayer and any it, it, it doesn't this is not even just pointed at her it's anyone right you just need prayer at that point because we're not there to keep your misery company yeah right too well, much at, that we're working on and I mean her karma has already been serving her because you're miserable in your marriage you putting cameras everywhere you're sniffing your man's balls. <laughs> Um, you have issues going on in your home, which sniffing like, balls is crazy. She it, says she knows if it's uh, damn, that was episode one. She knows if the balls yeah, are like it's crazy. Who, you who, you are that is crazy <laughs> behavior. That is, you ever seen that movie with the Beyonce Idris and the white lady was on the on oh off her rocker. What's the what's what's the what's the what's the phrase Tamika use? <laughs> what? Um, Not off your rocker. Um, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Oh yeah, that's one of mine. You are. That's crazy. She to me. is not. She's literally bad shit crazy. But listen, just, that's that's her truth and that's her karma. So let her deal with that. Um, over there in her rented house, that's her karma. I guess so, but I think I think that I mean that's really the bulk of the show. I think and and you know it kind of ended off there, you know, with oh well this this the file that came up and that's what I searched, and then we go into the trip. So I'm very excited for y'all to see that episode. Uh, of course, the uh, Jackie takes the girls to Arizona, and then um, it's gonna get a little juicy for the for the bottom for the bottom half of the. Of the of the season eleven of the show, so I mean, I think there are some there there's some good moments. I feel like there's been so much drama, and the drama kind of has been outweighing the lighthearted moments. But um, let let's hope that there's a there's a balance. I hope so. Yeah, me too. Well, um, that's all I really have to say about this episode of Basketball Wives. Again, make sure you guys tune in next week to My True Scam Story Part 2. Again, I'm so proud of myself for bringing this project to light and shining some awareness on these issues in our community. And um, yeah, you know, again, I get doing your research on people, but when 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 you should you know like this girl she doesn't know me she doesn't know you it's like and it's and nothing to talk about it's like everything that you are digging up girl is like okay we know that and next right next, next. caller next. so <laughs> next Yes, make sure you guys tune in to my true scam story because I, I really uh, want you guys to to see how part two pans out and hear from other victims as well. Again, like I said, it's not even like a tenth of the people that came forward and told their stories. There were stri there were street dudes looking for him. I honestly don't know how he's still alive. That That's one of the things that people say to me, like, he's not dead yet because he's literally done this to so many people yeah. women men <clears throat> family you name it so it's just it's crazy but you know hopefully something some form of change will come about i don't know what his karma is but i'm just doing my part so stay tuned and make sure you guys subscribe like turn on your notifications drop them comments we want to drop comments y'all still not dropping what y'all want to see i mean we we're trying to give you all a chance you know we we're, we're still open to uh you know. oh somebody did say that they wanted to see me cooking so she can cook my cooking is not like them two girls on episode five like i can really cook i made thanksgiving dinner last year and it's kind of like my past for the year because 
it's not that I can't cook. I, I'm just not one of those people that actually enjoy cooking. Some people enjoy being in the kitchen. That's not really my life. But I can cook. Like, so my did, turkey was amazing. I don't I even heard, eat. I heard they, they it, the skeleton was... It was the skeleton of the turkey. I made homemade cranberry sauce, not the shit out of the can. Actual homemade with cranberries. I made that. I made um, stuffing. I made Patty LaBelle's mac and cheese. I made Damn, Patty LaBelle's mac and cheese. Yeah. I, made... I like how she says stuffing and not dressing. Yeah, dressing is just weird. Crazy. Um when I think dressing, I think of salad dressing. <laughs> right, 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 right. I think I don't I don't know where I think yeah. that's a southern I think it's a southern thing. I don't know. Dressing. I'm trying to think, what else did I make? I made a um, spinach artichoke dip mm. for people to just, you know. I made a, a cheese platter. I made a cake. Armani made the greens. Yeah, I had like a whole spread. It was like my food was bomb. The turkey was bomb. Damn, I wish I was um, there. And I made salmon. I made salmon because I don't eat turkey. So I made salmon, let everything marinate overnight. I can actually cook. So yeah, I can, I can, I can put together a little something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set something up. We'll set something up, get you in the kitchen. Maybe we can do a couple's dinner or something. Yeah, that would be cute. Probably do some. Actually, no, 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 no. Y'all request this. Y'all want to see Jen? I will do me and her later, y'all. We're going we gonna to let Jen. I'm, we're going we gonna, to we gonna make that happen for y'all. This this first segment will be Jen cooking. And, uh, yeah. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are excited to continue to bring you guys the best, the best, the best uh, of us. This is this is us, and we're super excited to have you guys come along the journey with us as we journey into love and deeper love and deeper love and deeper love. Babe, proud of you so much. I'm Thank super, you. super proud of you. Like, you don't understand. She... <sighs> God damn it, she don't even have time to cook because she's so fucking busy. <laughs> like, it's, but you rather be busy I'd rather, than bored. Yes, or, and because I, I don't want to be. rather be booked and broke. Yeah. So, yeah, um, uh, next week, 8 o'clock, right before Basketball Wise, My True Scam Story Part 2. It gets spicy and it gets very emotional. So make sure you guys tune in. Don't miss it. And like she said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all of the updates when it comes to Life, in, uh, Life with Jen and CG, the whole channel. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Thank Love. you, guys.